Welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we talked about abstraction and the network providing these kind of abstracted services to applications so that they don't have to implement all of the complexity uh, themselves each and every time. So in that, this then kind of tends to lead to some quite common paradigms in networked applications. So uh, typically you'll end up with a client server relationship where there'll be uh, you know, a, a host uh, or a node will be offering some application or service uh, to um, potentially to the entire internet or to the entire computer network if it's not on the internet. And then the client uh, you know, applications that consume that. So for example, this might be the, the Bureau of Meteorology providing weather forecast information in a digital format. That would be the server. And then the client uh, might be programs that actually fetch that data down to display it on a, a nice phone app in a convenient way. And so th this is a, a quite common uh, you know, uh, pattern to come out. There is an alternative, which is peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, where the nodes don't have such a, a strict um, hierarchical relationship like this. Uh, so file sharing systems is one example, or in some of the disaster response work that I do, we have actually made uh, text messaging uh, and other applications that actually work in a fully peer-to-peer -peer manner uh, as well by kind of restructuring how it works below the scene, you know, behind the scenes. And, but within this, so if we're looking back at the, the client server kind of approach, uh, we typically end up with kind of uh, request and reply uh, mechanisms because we need to request something from the server and then it replies. Uh, and so this, you know, will kind of be in uh, one channel of communication. So this might be one particular socket and we'll talk more about sockets uh, down the track. Um, and then separately, we might actually have uh, message streams. So rather than it being this kind of transactional model, it's more like the postal service, you put things in, they come out at some point uh, at the other end, possibly in order, possibly not. Uh, and so these are, are two quite different ways to abstract over the complexity of the network. But in both cases, they are providing a, a powerful abstraction of letting the application developers so we say, okay, do I need to do requests to a server? Right, okay, then I can use uh, libraries and standards uh, for doing that. Or it might just be, well, I just need to be able to send a stream of messages uh, to uh, one or more other nodes on the network. So different ways of doing it. Uh, but again, we find that there are these very common communications patterns that come up. Uh, and there are others as well, but these are very common ones in particular.